Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. When we left off last time, I've been talking to the Sand People, we learned their history, which is actually fairly interesting. When we insinuated there might be a connection between humanity and the Sand People, they got enraged and attacked. So my plan had been off screen to wipe them out. Um, instead, they, they destroyed me really fast. So I did that all over again. I didn't ask them if there is a connection. We're still friends with the Sand People now. I feel a little better about that since, you know, us talking to them was the furthest inroads anybody has ever made with the Sand People and trying to understand their culture. So I prefer, you know, not to annihilate them. We'll keep that tentative peace that we made. So here I am in the Hunt Club. Um, I think I have some raid shells to sell. Let's double check. Yeah, I got a raid plate to sell. I kind of wish you would go right to them, since my inventory is huge. Let's, let's get these out of here. We don't need clothing. Oh, I did put my Jedi Master robe that I picked up on off-screen, because it's one more defense than the Jedi Knight robe. I like the color of the Jedi Knight robe better, but defense is a little more important. I could probably sell some of this stuff, but I just don't want to right now. Uh, da -da -da, moving on... I think the raid shells are, like, way down at the bottom. Oh, my goodness. Did I pass it? No, there it is. Okay. And they're only 24 each, but might as well sell them. Alright, there's that. Now look. Let's head back out to Anchorhead. Ah, uh, we got a swoop brace still. And I'm not, is there anything else I need to do here? I think we're done with Zerka. Oh. Who's this gentleman? Forgive me for the intrusion, human. My name is Sunny Vec. I believe you dropped this data pad, and I wish to return it to you. Um... What is this, some kind of con game? Uh, I didn't drop anything. I could just take it. I don't know if it's something bad. Um, all right, no, I didn't drop anything. I'm certain you did, human. Please, take the data pad. It's yours, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't want it. Oh, I'm curious. Thanks. My pleasure, human. You should examine it to make sure it's not broken. Goodbye, human. All right, I'll bite. What's in the data pad? And see, I click on new items, and instead of going right to the top, it's there's like a million things in here I don't care about, and this data pad that I just got is mixed in with all the rest. So that's a little inconvenient. This data pad contains a single short cryptic message. The Gena Haradin says to see Hulas on Manan. Come alone or not at all. Well, perhaps we will go to Manan next. I think we are just about done with Tatooine. Where am I trying to get to? He mixed me up as to where I am. Um, swoop racing, and that's over here. Ugh, hopefully this isn't painfully horrible and taking forever. I think I figured out some... I messed around with this a little bit off screen. And I think what I need to do is... um. I'm, I'm when you left click to switch gears, I'm doing it at the wrong time. I have to let the bar kind of charge up all the way and then click it. So we'll give it a shot. Uh, here's Nico here. I don't really want to do the hot quest because it's not really good for him. Let's try that business with Nico one more time. Give him a better deal. We'll try to persuade. Nope, it's not happening. Okay. We'll just leave that unfinished, I think. So set me up with the race. I'm gonna have to pay him a hundred credits again. Oh wait. Can I pursue it? No. Fine. Hundred credits. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate sweep racing. Okay. Alright, so click now. And I missed that thing, but whatever. Whoops. Ah! 
Yeah, this is gonna be a bad time. Freaking swoop racing. Now the hut's gonna yell at me for losing. Winners draw the crowd. You still got your hundred credits. I don't wanna hear it. Alright, we'll try it again. <gasps> oh boy, I'm doing a lot of gearing around every which way. I don't think that was quite enough. We did it! Hooray! Okay. Past the first tier, earned 10 racing bonds, which is only like 60 credits. Not a bad showing for a beginner. You beat Garm's time easily. Take this with my thanks. We'll see if you can do any better in tier 2. Alright. So, 100 credits again. And I have to beat 2329. Oh, fantastic. Can that just count for tier one, too? What's the tier one time? All right, clap, everybody. We did it. Hooray. Passed the second tier and earned 30 racing bonds. I'm beginning to think it was a mistake to sign you up. I suppose you'd be up against my local pro attractions in tier three next. You've already ruined Yukaril. All right, so what do I need to do for the last one? Pay him another freaking hundred credits. We are beating, or looking to beat, Zorus Bafco, and we need to get 2251. Attention, Mata the Hut presents the cream of swoop racing, a tier 3 match. Let this almost champion know what you expect. Alright, let's do it. almost ran into a freaking thing. Okay. So, not quite good enough. What do I call that? Still pretty decent. Alright, one more try. Because I think tier 3's got to be the last tier and then we can be done with this. Until there's more swoop racing on another planet. Just watch. I'm sure it'll happen. This can't be the only place they have swoops come in again. Alright, not doing quite as well because I missed that one. Stay in the middle. Ugh, even worse. Okay, that's enough snoop racing for now. I don't want to keep messing around with it. It's not that exciting. Alright, let's pay me out for what I got. Um, I just want to be paid. Alright, I'll be back later. Who do I talk to for money here? You? I do not want a timing fee. I want... Who's gonna give me what these stupid bonds are? I gotta... Oh, you're the person that is beating me. You've certainly shown your skill on the track. I imagine you'll be taking aim at my times next. Nah. I tried it a couple times already. That was enough. Where do I turn in the racing bonds? Who are you? You're just some racer. Hmm. Whatever, swoop racing. Moving on. 
Is there anything else to do here? Talk to everybody. Drop off that stowaway. That guy's on the non. Mission's brother's an idiot. Oh, yeah, I gotta find Aziz. That's right. He should be over this way. And after we talk to him, I think we are gonna leave Tatooine. Where are you at, buddy? Over by the gate. All right, I saved your friends. You of your kind, Aziz of Jawa, would thank you for what was done. Mine have returned because of you. It is as was agreed, as Aziz hoped it was. I have things to give you. Take and be welcome. I will not ask for more. That will be fine. Good luck. You are a good friend of the Jawas. We will remember when your kind are gone. Ask if you need any more of anything. All right, thank you. Um, what items did he give us? There's, there's no way of knowing. Well, he gave us something. We'll hope it's good. Anything else to say? That's what you already said. We hope we traded fair with you. Was there something else you might want? Nope, that's it. Thank you. All right, we're done with this planet, guys. Let's get out of here. So we'll head back to the ship. I think we will go ahead and drop Sasha off. And then I guess we might as well go to Manan. We've got that quest. See what that's all about. That's wrong way. Go around here. We will leave the Gizka on the ship. Unless they do something bad. And maybe we'll try talking to everybody again. Alright. To the Ebon Hawk. Come along, team. Yeah, these guys are fine. They're not a problem. They're little cuties. They can be on the ship. Is this Dantooine? Yes. All right, off we go. Our thrilling liftoff cinematic. So long, Tatooine. skip this oh yep I can ha fantastic all right then do I need to talk to Sasha or can I just I'm gonna try just exiting I don't want to go talk to her and we'll see if we can just talk to um I forgot his name already but the Twilight that was looking for her. there it doesn't matter who's on the team anybody who wants to It's right here. Lur Arcasulus. I found your girl. Go ahead with your question. I know you're looking for Sasha. There is a stowaway on my ship by the name of Sasha. This is most exciting news, Sentian. Are you certain of this? I am. Yes, I am. She only speaks a smattering of Mandalorian, but I was able to figure it out. You have convinced me, Sentient, that your stowaway is indeed the one I seek. Would you allow me to see her? <laughs> Only if I get something in return. Now, certainly, I'll bring you up to my ship. It's right behind me there. Let us go there now. I am most anxious to see her. Though you have aged, young Sentient, I do believe you are indeed the one I seek. I am here to return you to your father. 
Does she speak Tuolk? I see that Lavinia was correct about your linguistic difficulties. I am positive that your parents can assist you with that. She's pretty upset. Calm yourself, child. I will take you home. <laughs> Just go. I've had enough of it. it. It is a bit frustrating, but this looks like probably this is going to mean something to her, so Lararka na beds. Thank you for your assistance, Sintia. I'm sure the girl's parents will be most appreciative of your efforts. Hooray! Alright, there's that taken care of. Candris, let's hear another of your delightful tales of war. Yeah, what do you want? I do want some stimulants hey, as well. Hey, don't worry. I think you've got enough. A real warrior knows if I don't think I have enough. Need? I would like some more. Um, do you have any more war stories? I don't stories? have as many strange stories like the last one I told you. But I do have a couple about me and the stuff I've done. In one battle above the world of Althea, my unit managed to defeat a force of Althea ten times our own size. That battle gained me command of an entire subsect of my clan. Uh, congratulations for you, I guess. So, tell me the story. For five days, they had managed to hold off our forces, keeping us to the outer rings of their world, preventing us from attacking it directly. My task was to assault one of their flanks with a false attack. The Altheory would be drawn out by the units I had sent in. Once they had surrounded those units, the bulk of my forces would attack from the rear and defeat them in detail. Let me guess, you want no, we'll be respectful. Did it work? Things didn't go as I had planned. I saw an opening, a mistake they had made in the disposition of their forces, and took it. While fending off our main force, they had let their fleet split in two. The center of their entire fleet was left exposed. I turned my forces and assaulted the center of their fleet, decimating them. Mm, you did disobey your orders, but it worked out for the best. Uh, we'll go the neutral route. What did they do? Their slow, ponderous ship could not turn to face us without being overwhelmed. The command vessels were destroyed in seconds. Their ranks were thrown into chaos. It was amusing to watch the surviving ships scatter and flee. Several even tried to dive through the plane of the rings to escape us. Yeah, they really were funny. They by the rings or crashed into rocks or were destroyed by our forces as we pursued them. Warriors do not flee from a battle if they are losing. They fight to the end, as we did against your Jedi Revan. Another time, maybe, I'll tell you about how the war with the Republic went. For now, let's just get on with things. Is there something else you want to know? No, you've shared quite enough, Candorous. Thank you. Your choice. I... I do want to learn more about you, HK. Do I have anything to help me with repair? Will, whatever this, no, none of that's useful. Any gloves? Demolitions. No. It's not going to be on any of the outfits. Mm. I think I might have something equipped on somebody pointless, but I'm not positive. Um, well... Now would be the time to check it. No, she's not going to have it. And it wouldn't be on a droid. Mission? What did I put on you? What's this do? Awareness, that's not it. No, she doesn't have anything that important. I don't have anything on Zalbar. No, I don't think so. I don't think I have anything to help with repair. Uh, maybe stims? I think stamina. What does alacrity do? Whoops. Well, I guess we'll Statement. check and see. H Let's try restoring some of your memory. Affirmative. If you request. Alright, let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. We failed this last time, but... But I need those circuits, uh. Master... 
Please, Master, do not destroy my chips. Out of frustration, calm yourself. I implore you. Supplication. Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, me. I mean, Master. <laughs> this seems to be going nowhere. All right, HK. As you desire, Master. <sighs> we'll get there eventually. All right, let's go talk to everybody else. I guess next time I level up, we'll put some points into repair. There's nobody in this room. This is just where Sasha was. There's no point talking to the droid or Zalbar. But maybe Juhani has something How to say. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Tell me more about your past. Or what she's thinking about. What are you thinking about? I have been thinking much about our journey, and I am grateful and honored that you have accepted me with you. I am not used to such unbiased acceptance from one who is nearly a stranger to me. We Cathar do not make friends easily, or for long. Even on Dantooine, I remained alone. Not ostracized exactly, but separate. Hmm. <gasps> Ooh, that's a mean thing to say. Tell me about your people. In truth, I have lived in the Republic too long, and I know little. I never met any others of my race other than my parents. But we are not diplomats. We do not deal well with groups. This situation is new to me. It is... it is warming. I feel almost welcome. Needed. You seem to be very decisive when it is required of you. It is reassuring to know that I can count on someone like you. Could try counting on one of the others. Eh. I guess we're all in this together? It is nice that you hold me in such high regard, but we are all in this together. Yes, and that is my point. I find it difficult to explain. It is so different from what I am used to. Just thank you for accepting me. You're welcome, Juhani. How may I be of a... And did you have what another option? Like to speak yes, tell me about your past. Well, I suppose I have not talked very much about the Jedi I met back home. They, all of them, were so very invigorating. Uh, invigorating? They were so very alive. So full of hope and energy and zeal. In retrospect, I can see it was a little bit tragic. Um, something bad happened to them, huh? Tragic? Well, yes. These Jedi were going to fight the Mandalorians just after they had invaded. Many of those Jedi perished in the fighting. But to us, they seemed invincible. Especially their leader, who they talked about all the time. Paragons of light and justice sweeping away all iniquity before them. It was like looking at gods. <laughs> I do look divine. Um, no. Well, the Jedi are not gods. I know that. I was using poetic license. Obviously. But those Jedi, they were enthralling. Everyone wanted just to touch them. Some people thought it would bring them luck. Not that the peace they brought lasted very long. What happened? The Jedi left. The people grew complacent. Those who had been wronged saw their chance at revenge. And so the cycle continues. The oppressed become the new generation of oppressors. The human oppressed, that is. The non-humans were never treated well in any case. Mm. We felt the brunt of both administrations. What do you mean you can't really blame them? You can blame them. All species are capable of intolerance, but I don't want to make it sound like I'm trying to lessen what she dealt with in any way. I don't know, I feel weird asking it this, too. Was it that bad? I guess that's the least offensive choice. Of course it was. Maybe not. They took their frustrations and hate up on us because the people they wanted had already fled or were too well protected. But no one looks out for the injustices we suffered. Oh, no. But... But I am sorry. I should not have outbursts like that. It's all right, as long as you do not let your anger influence you. Don't you see? 
The very fact I mentioned it means it has its influence. Anger can lead to the dark side, and I must be ever careful that I do not fall back into those ways. I... I thank you for your support. My outburst was uncalled for. But you did not lash back at me. You are a much better Jedi than I, it would seem. But let us not speak more of this now. We should continue on our journey. Perhaps later we will talk again. All right. Thank you, Juhani. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll talk to Bastila, Carf, and Mission, and then we will head on to Manon.